my every prayer because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. I'm sure of this, that he who started a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. It is right for me to think this way about all of you because I have you in my heart and you are all partners with me in grace. I uh, came to be director of missions of Harvest Baptist Association a little over two years ago after having spent the previous 20 years as a pastor. And uh, one of the first things that I did was look at our association and say, where is missions? Uh, we're, you know, we're doing a lot of stuff in churches, but where is an associational emphasis on missions going somewhere else uh, besides just the things that we're doing locally? And so God put it on my heart to begin <laughs> developing partnerships, and it seemed to me that an association partnership, it made sense to, to develop a partnership with an association somewhere else. And so my first... Uh, State Convention, the Baptist General Convention of Texas, as a director of missions after many years as a pastor, they offered a workshop, uh, listening session, on partnership missions. So I went to that, thinking I've already been thinking about this, God's already put it on my heart, and uh, one of the presenters was Steve Melvin from the Minnesota-Wisconsin <laughs> Convention. And so he talked about that, and, uh, and I visited with him for a few minutes. Once the session was over, he said, there's somebody I want you to meet. And we went over to the exhibits area, and he said, I want you to meet Dan Casper. And so I visited with Dan a little bit and told him kind of what God had put on my heart. And he said, you know, we're planning a vision tour next year. And I don't know many of the details on it, but uh, we've got something going. I said, let's keep in touch. Well, that was October of 2008. January of 2009, we have a Directors of Missions meeting, a uh, NOBA meeting in, uh, in Fort Worth, and I got there and uh, sat down next to Dan Casper. And he had a little postcard that talked about the dates of the vision tour. And uh, it all went from there. I actually began thinking about that, began planning about that, called Dan sometime around April and said, how are the plans coming for that? He said, well, we're, we've almost got our plans together, but in the meantime, do you think you can get anybody to come up and help us with our camp this summer? <laughs> so, I don't know. I'll see what I can do. And I said, I'll come. I don't know if I can get anybody else to come or not, but I'll come. And as it turned out, uh, my daughter came with me, and uh, we got one other pastor and his wife to come. And so that was, that was my first trip to Wisconsin. And you have great weather here in the summer. <laughs> uh, there, were, there were two weeks that entire summer that I wasn't roasting, and one of them was here. But the other side of it was I'd, I'd gone to camp for many years, and uh, I packed just like I've always packed to go to camp. Didn't bring a pair of long pants. <laughs> And uh, I think the last couple of days it got up to almost 70. And uh, so I, I learned a little bit, a little bit more about how to, how to pack for coming to, to Wisconsin. So we came to the Vision Tour in September. We were able to bring six from our association for that. And, and uh, folks began to get, get a heart for that. Um, we began talking about how what this partnership might look like. Began working through that that process and uh, and then we had four from from our association the same pastor and his wife plus two more from his church that came and helped with camp we had uh, uh, a group from actually made up of more than one of our churches primarily the first baptist church of Perrin that came up here this summer uh, and helped put a roof on this building i just sent a text message to the pastor a little while ago said i'm here roof is still on and, it was <laughs> and he said that was good he was glad to hear that uh, and also there was a part of that group as well that helped conduct a vacation Bible school over at Tilida and uh, so there, there are exciting things going on and then uh, had uh, uh, Mark and Dan come down and be with us a couple of weeks ago and really excited about those possibilities uh, it's new to us it's new to you and uh, so we're just going to go on this journey together. We put together a, an agreement 
that we just signed. And I want to really quickly go through. How many of you, I know that your administrative team has seen it. Anyone, how many of you have seen this, a copy of it? But I'm not going to read it word for word. I'm going to skip over some of the numbers and things like that. But just, and I also tell you, I'm not smart enough to come up with something like this. What I did was contact another couple of associations that has a Texas and Wisconsin partnership that's a couple of years ahead of us, uh, Bell Baptist Association in Texas and Central Association here in Wisconsin, and said, what does your partnership agreement look like? And he emailed it to me, and I made some adjustments to it for us. And, and so I am... Uh, I'm really big on not reinventing the wheel if you don't have to. Uh, so, this is what it looks like. This partnership helps fulfill the Acts 1 8 emphasis by helping our churches get involved in going to the ends of the earth. I promise you, there are people in Texas that do think Wisconsin is the end of the earth. Uh, this partnership adds value to our churches by recognizing a long standing relationship between Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Texas Baptist and providing the opportunity for ministry and missions for our churches outside of our comfort zone. The members of this partnership will be Harvest Baptist Association Churches, Bay Lakes Baptist Association of Wisconsin Churches, and other partners. We listed both state conventions in Texas as well as the Minnesota-Wisconsin Convention. We don't know what state convention involvement in this partnership looks like, but we want them to know they're invited. And in fact, the Baptist General Convention of Texas did give us $5,000 to be used towards this partnership. And part of that is what has helped pay for people to go back and forth and, and some other things like that. Uh, and also a part of that went to assist the group from Perrin that came up here this summer with some of their travel expense. Uh, the major goals of the partnership are to prayerfully assess the needs of the, the churches and possible mission and ministry starts in Bay Lakes and link them with partnering churches and ministry uh, and ministries of Harvest Baptist Association and the reverse also true to prayerfully assess the needs of the churches and missions of Harvest Baptist Association and link them up with partnering churches and ministries in Bay Lakes to support the work of both associations to encourage new church starts in both associations to strengthen existing churches in both associations uh, and that uh, the churches of, uh, of Bay Lakes would also provide vision teams to, uh, to work with churches in Harvest. The initial duration of the partnership will be four years. That's beginning with the signing of this, even, so we got a year for free already. Uh, the partnership planning group will be made up of persons from Harvest Baptist Association and Bay Lakes who will be responsible to the associations for planning, implementing, and evaluating projects between uh, the two associations. That are the, the people from from your association. That's the people who signed here, and that and that is uh, Bernard Ferris and Dan Casper and Mark Russell uh, from our association. Uh, Melba Weaver, Larry Potts, and Scott Penick. Uh, all of those came on the vision tour last year, uh, and then Scott has been here two years for camp, and then I believe came with Perrin as well to help uh, on this roof this summer. Uh, specific plans uh, for the first year are mutual prayer uh, for the work of both associations, uh, financial support from our